Yerp, this is Perp, back with another video, and I just got done watching the finale of season two of Vinland Saga, and man, this season has been incredible. I didn't think they would be able to top season one. Season one was such an incredible watch. Vinland Saga is a very different type of show, and I think because of that, it kind of gets the flack that it does, like, or it doesn't get the attention that it deserves, is because it's not a shonen. It's not one of those shows that it has just mindless action and you see no character progression. It's not one of those generic type of shows. Nothing is wrong with that, but they're doing something completely different with this show that I'm surprised not more people are talking about or even praising for it. just the level of animation that is brought with this season as well they definitely upped their game this shit felt like a fucking movie now i do i did have a review of like the first five episodes and then i took a break from that and i was just like i want to just enjoy this show and i'm glad i did because seeing how this whole season played off where it's very much a slow burn starting off with like thorfinn he's kind of not himself he, he he has to deal with being a slave he has like no motivation because his main motivation in season one was to get revenge on Asclad, and because he wasn't able to get that he ended up you know being a slave and now he has these nightmares of his past and this is where enar comes into play and he's just a such a interesting character to have in this and just a good companion for Thorfinn and how they just become brothers over time and his aspirations are very similar to like Thorfinn's but he has a completely different approach to it and he's just kind of following his lead and that scene back in what episode 9 the oath where Thorfinn literally sees hell like Valhalla and stuff he has this like talk with like Asclad and Asclad is the one that kind of gets him out of this kind of funk not only Asclad but you know Enar is definitely the one that kind of helped Thorfinn kind of push through because for the majority of the first half of the season they're just working on this farm and trying to just buy their way out of slavery and stuff and it's just so fascinating to see Thorfinn make this vow to not kill anybody pretty much the batman approach where he's like i'm not going to kill anybody i'm not going to use violence if i don't have to you know what i'm saying and not not going to pick up no more swords nothing and to see the parallel with canute's character where he's gone full sith at this point and to see where canute's character has come from like the first season is just brilliant where he's a slave to the crown now but also when we get later the interaction between Thorfinn and Canute you kind of really see them going down two different paths where you know he is a much different king than his father but he also will do some under underhanded sneaky shit just to get his way or you know to show off his power and i like that about canoe he he has completely took a 180 with his character same thing with thorfinn for the better and all these other side characters that we get throughout this first season or, or the second season like um like i said enar snake was really dope where he is very much upholding the laws and the rules and the regulations of everything. And he doesn't play about that. Uh, Omar, he kind of gets himself into some shit with the King's people. And that starts off that whole battle. You know what I'm saying? That they have towards the end of the season, which was fucking brilliant. Thorgil, which I always want to see Thorgil come back. Maybe he will come back at some point. Maybe not. Because I think Thorgil and Thorkel would be an awesome match because they're both uh, have this bloodlust and just this love for war. They don't really care about 
being peaceful or nothing like that. But I like characters like Omar where he has this storyline of him becoming a man. Everybody has a specific role to play. And even um, Arnie or uh, the old the one chick that was there with Thorfinn and Enar. And Enar really had love for her, her character. And to come to find out that she has a husband that was going around killing different slave masters and stuff like that to just find her to only end up dead that shit was so fucking tragic man like thor uh villain saga has a great way of just introducing care non-main characters and making you really care about them as they're being as if they were main characters it was it's just really brilliant how they fleshed that whole thing out and seeing frauds like um uh kettle and seeing him dive into his rage which led to arnie's death and which led that could have led to enar kind of losing his mind but then having thorfinn bringing him back to back to reality and stuff like that saying this is not the way we can go about it and some of my favorite episodes are even the act the ones with all the action it's episodes like two paths where Thorfinn and and uh Canute are having this conversation and Thorfinn is trying to just stop any more bloodshed with just a conversation and he's able to do that but what he wants to do is form a land where nobody has to worry about slavery or anything like that they could just live free that's going to be the hardest goal to accomplish for Thorfinn considering he doesn't want to use violence anymore so that's going to be fascinating to watch going into future seasons and to see what other enemies that are going to be in his path but I love I love I absolutely love how this season ends with Thorfinn finally after like 16 years reuniting with his family his mom and his sister that was such a fucking moment and it ends up being like one of the funnier episodes in the entire series like where his sister doesn't even believe that's really thorfinn he thought she thought that it was one of leaf's fake stories or whatnot and the fact that thorfinn has been gone for so long he doesn't even remember how old he is it's insane and he's like kind of like nervous to re-meet everybody but then his mom it just that whole moment with his mom was just beautiful where she never gave up hope and the fact that she kind of sees thor's in thorfinn and the fact that thorfinn told everybody exactly what he's been going through in the last 16 years was just incredible and everybody kind of getting behind his goal and his ambition to get this to get this land vinland and make it home for people that don't want to fight in none of these wars they don't want to deal with any of the slavery shit this season was just brilliant man from start to finish it was gut-wrenching it was emotional it was brutal it was just everything that you would want out of a series and i just don't understand how people could say that this show is boring when it has so many layers to it and it's only been two seasons and to see where thorfinn started off in the series to where he's at now it's incredible incredible character development and that's all i have to really say about this season it was fantastic man fantastic easily a contender for anime of the year but i want to know your thoughts in the comments below about this season as a whole how did you feel about it? what were some of your favorite moments what were some of your favorite episodes? Um, how do you feel about, you know, Thorfinn at this point in the story? But until next time, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.